welcome to logic quest academy welcome to yet another video from my youtube channel logic quest academy let us see this question and this question is based on venn diagram which is on the concept of minimization and maximization of the number of uh, one of the variables so let us see what it asks for a housing society had 120 flats and were equipped with ac modular kitchen and fall ceiling 80 of the flats had ac 84 of them had modular kitchen 80 had false ceiling what were the minimum and the maximum number of flats which had all the three if each flat had at least one of the above three so let us first make the venn diagram and let us solve this okay let's see let us see this circle as ac uh, one of the circles i am taking as modular kitchen this is my modular kitchen and the third one i am taking as false ceiling okay fall ceiling okay let us see now i am taking few areas of different so this is my exact two areas like ac plus modular kitchen ac plus false ceiling these are exactly two ka area these are also exactly two ka area right i'm just putting this like this and then I have an area called exactly three, right? So this area is exactly three ka area, right? And the others which are left one is exactly one ka area. So suppose this is exactly one A, B, and C. I mean A is only A C, B is only modular kitchen, MK I'm saying this, and C is only false ceiling, right? So my a plus b plus c is exactly one represent exactly one variable so exactly one ac plus exactly one modular kitchen plus exactly one false ceiling i'm just denoting this by one similarly let us assume that these areas which has exactly two like ac plus modular kitchen only this a this blue highlighted ones and e is the ac and false ceilings common area exactly two right only the highlighted one and also the modular kitchen and false ceiling ka we assume as f so my area where we are having exactly two is uh, d d is for ac plus mk only not taking any other and this is ac plus false ceiling only only and this is modular kitchen plus false ceiling only okay exactly two parts so let us denote this by 2, D plus E plus F by exactly 2. We are just denoting this by 2, which means exactly 2 of the variables out of 3. Exactly 2. Let us now denote the beach, uh, the this all 3 area by G. And let us see, G is exactly 3. So it contains all the 3 items. So AC plus MK plus FC, all these 3 are denoted by z and let us denote this by t so whatever uh, values we have been given is that there are 120 flats so 120 flats were surveyed so it exactly means that your a plus b plus c plus d plus e plus f plus g is equal to 180 120 as there are no flats without any of these facilities so each flat had at least one of the above three so none is zero that's why we have written a plus b plus c d plus e plus f plus g equal to 120 if there would have been a none where we had some number then i will have to include that also but that is not the case so for me the none is zero similarly they have given that ac is 80 mk is 84 and false ceiling is 80. So AC ka area is what? A plus D plus E plus G. Just look at the circle of AC. Just, just, just have a look of AC circle. So I'm just looking at the AC circle. I'm taking all the elements inside it. So what are different elements inside it? The sum of it will be 80. So I will have A plus D plus E plus G as 80. Then I will have B plus D plus G plus F as 84. And then I will have G plus e plus f plus c equal to 80 this is for ac this is for mk modular kitchen and this for false city okay so these three equation i'm getting can i sum this up 
okay so first let's start sum this up so a plus b plus c you can see all of them appears once only a is once b is one c is one but to d e and f appears twice because they are in both the circles d is in ac ka circle and modular kitchen ka circle f is in modular kitchen and fall ceiling and e is in ac and fall ceiling so d e f is appearing two times and then g is appearing three times and i have the sum as 80 plus 84 plus 80 which is 244 now let us denote these by some uh, notations we have already assumed so one is a plus b plus c 2 is d plus e plus f and g is 3 similarly i will denote these also by 1 plus 2 of 2 plus 3 of 3 just denoting uh, these a plus b plus c by 1 d plus e plus f by 2 and g as 3 so this is 244 this is my equation 2 and this is my equation 1 the equation 1 can be written as 1 plus 2 plus 3 equal to 120 this is my equation so now i have two equations let me rewrite these equations so my first equation is 1 plus 2 plus 3 is equal to 120 and my second equation is 1 plus 2 of 2 plus 3 of 3 is equal to 244. Just subtracting the this equation from the lar larger one, well, larger value one, which give me how much? I will give me 2 plus 2 of 3 is equal to 124. Now they are asking us to maximize 3. Okay. So maximize 3 means what? I will have to, if the sum of two things are 125 or 124, then I will have to minimize this. Then only I can maximize this, right? So to maximize this, I will have to assume 2 as 0. And then our 2 into 3 will be 124. And our 3 ka value will be 124 divided by 2, which comes out to be 62. Okay. Now, they also are saying to minimize this also. So suppose if I want to minimize 3, so I will have to maximize 2. But if I want to minimize 3 and I take value as 0, let us assume that 3 ka value is 0, then 2 plus 2 into 0 will be 124 and 2 will be 124. But I know from first equation that my 1 plus 2 plus 3 is equal to 120. So this 2 cannot be 124 because it can be at max equal to 120. So what we will do now is take these two equations. We will just assume here that as we are trying to maximize and minimize 2 and 3 here. So let us assume that 1 is 0. We will just assume that one area is 0 because we are not actually focusing on 1. We are just trying to minimize and maximize 2 and 3. So 2 plus 3 will become 120 and from equation which we got after subtracting the equation here that 2 plus 3 is 2 into 3 is 124. So these two equations we get uh, 2 plus 2 into 3 is 124. If I subtract this one, the top one from the bottom one, what I will get? I will get 0 plus 3 is equal to 4. So my 3 ka minimum value has to be 4. The minimum 3 is determined by both the condition that 2 plus 3 is 120 and 2 plus 2 into 3 is 124. 2, 3 ka minimum will be 4 here. and 3 ka maximum we have found is 62 which was 124 by 2. So this is the maximum value of uh, the G region or the uh, exactly 3 region and the minimum value of exactly 3 region. I hope you like this concept. Please like this, uh, like this video and subscribe this channel. Thank you so much.